So we're outside of the office of Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who is one of the dirty dozen that we have picked as among the worst of the worst. One of the reasons is what she's done to grill the deans of important universities. Another one is how she has, well, it's part of the same thing, how she's shifted herself from a moderate Republican to a right-wing MAGA Republican because she is interested in being considered as vice president for Trump. Yep. So a lot of what she's doing is getting herself more known so she would have a better mm -hmm. chance to get that role. So yeah. what are the things that she's been doing? I mean, it's very like political maneuvering, the grilling of the, the Harvard dean, the MIT dean, who then later got uh, fired from their jobs, got her um, what, what it, $7 million in extra Republican donations. There's these big Republican donors giving her a ton of money to continue doing this work. And she's also always preached about free speech and being an absolutist on free speech, but then has been cracking down aggressively on any free speech that's pro-Palestinian speech, uh, student encampments, cracking down on students, just making sure that any sort of Palestinian speech is stifled. Well, oh, free speech, then she goes to Israel in front of the Knesset and she tells them, don't worry, yeah. we're going after those students, we'll get them. Yeah. And she also criticizes Biden for not doing enough for mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. So it's really pretty disgusting. I think yeah. she deserves to be in the dirty dozen, right? A hundred percent. She's 100%. really awful. She's <laughs> overreached her power so many times and she's gotten people fired who didn't deserve to be fired. So, she awful. got a lot of people killed who don't deserve to be killed. Also true. Ooh, least of all. Ask that you just do not uh, record or take photos inside of our lobby. Why um, is that? You can take photos outside. That's just our office policy, man, for security reasons. That is so weird because she's like supposed to be a big defender of yeah. free speech. Free speech, and yeah. Yeah. free expression. Well, I guess she's not really a defender of free speech yeah. and free expression, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, she's just the opposite, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, only the speech that she likes is apparently free speech. But. She also went to speak before the Knesset, and I want you to know some of the things that she said there because um, it's really pretty awful. So she said, what we are witnessing today is a story of the forces of good versus evil. <laughs> Guess which side, which side she said was good. I can't imagine. Yeah. The well, people committing genocide. The people committing genocide. 